we need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live. Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with freebets.com, Empire, Fight Store and Forged Irish Town. Delighted to be joined by the man of the moment, Mr. Jaya Pattaya. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. Adapted. I know when I last spoke to you at the press conference, it was all a bit of a rush. You were in, you were on about five different time zones, but now you're here in Saudi Arabia. All is good? All is good, man. Um, you know, it's, it's been a... Uh, since we got back from London, we've just been training the house down and getting, preparing for this fight, so... I'm excited to get in the ring. Obviously the breaking news, and you're going to be asked about 500 times, and I'll make that 501, obviously. Um, you've made the decision to vacate the IBF, a difficult one, but obviously the opportunities that you're presented here and the fact that you've got the ring magazine sort of bigger than? It is what it is. Um, you know, the IBF decided to strip me, you know, trying to keep a PG, but... It's frustrating, but it is what it is. You know, we, we just focus on the fight. The, fight. the belts will come back. All we got to do is keep training hard, keep winning, and they can't deny me. You know what I mean? My opportunity will come again, and I'll win another world title. Look, of course we will talk about the fight um, in this instance, but we've seen Terence Crawford come out before and make statements about the IBF and obviously quite strict on this, but we were also quite surprised that it sort of only really came about as an issue two weeks leading into the fight. Uh, we know that there was step aside agreed with Myris Breedis or whatever happened. We know that that was the next fight and everyone, obviously the statement you put up on your side, is, is there disappointment and, and frustration? You feel like you tried to cooperate as best as possible and it wasn't allowed? Of course it's frustrating. You know, I, I've done everything right. You know, I've, I've stayed busy. I've tried to fight the mandatories. You know, this stuff's been going on for ages, way before Breedis. You know, I've had mandatories pulling out on me trying to get exemption fights, and they just didn't allow it. So, you know, I'm sick of getting held back. I need to move forward for my career, for my family. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in a very important time of my career, and I can't sit on the sideline. You know, I'm sick of sitting around. I've had one fight since the Breeders' fight, you know what I mean? So I, I want to be busy, I want to stay busy, and I, I want to keep rolling our fights. We're staying busy, you will. We look forward to Saturday night, December 23rd, Day of Reckoning. Ellis Zorro, the man in front of you, when I spoke to you probably five weeks ago, you said you didn't know much about him. Um, had a little opportunity to study. You know that you go in as a big favourite. He's a big underdog, but you won't be overlooking anyone. No, I'm definitely not overlooking him. Um, you know, this is, his, this is his chance to become a world champion. You know what I mean? So I'm expecting his best. I'm expecting a Zorro that no one's seen before. So... You know, I've trained extremely hard and I'm, I'm ready for anything he brings. Obviously, this one here, a huge, huge card and people watching from all over the world. We know that last time you made a great statement to the UK fans in that fight with Jordan Thompson, almost to the point where uh, the Saudis really like you just from that show alone. You believe that this is another opportunity for you to just show the world just how good you are and that there's levels come Saturday night. Definitely. Um, you know, every fight I have is... is a stepping stone, you know what I mean? Every fight I have is a statement. Um, but I just got to do what I do, and that's fight smart, you know what I mean? The knockouts will come if they come, but I just got to do, you know, box smart, use my ring IQ. Um, you know, I got good power, good speed, good feet work, and I'll put it all together, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm pumped. Um, I did an interview with Eddie a couple of weeks ago and he said that it's a two-fight deal, so there'll be another one after this. Are you able to disclose what sort of bill that would be? Do you know what sort of bill that would land on? We know that February is quite soon, but potential Joshua Wilder date in March. I mean, any card's going to be big, right? Any of them. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on the Usyk Fury card. Um, wow. Quick turnaround again. Yeah, well, it is what it is, you know. I'm, I'm hoping to come out of this fight, um, you know, injury free like my last one, you know, and, and we just get back into the gym. You know, we'll, like I said, I'm at a really important time of my career at the moment, you know, I'm, and I'm, I'm yet to hit my peak. So I'm training hard every day, I'm working hard, and I'm preparing, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm ready for war. 
Just finally for me, there was sort of topic of discussion about you potentially sparring Tyson Fury. Eddie came out and said, hey, you're a world champion. You shouldn't really be used as a sparring partner. Did anything ever materialize on that? Would you yourself like to? I mean... Yeah, for sure. It would be an awesome experience. Um, you know, we're still in talk. <laughs> yeah, we're getting it done. We're going over and doing some sparring. You know, it, it's, all, it's all happening pretty quick, you know, so... Um, and I got told today we're heading over, so, hey, we go over, we go over. You know, if we don't, we don't. It doesn't bother me. I'm just taking every day as it comes and every day, you know, better than yesterday. Do you have a final message to your supporters? I uh, don't know what hour it will be on in Australia, but certainly people watching all over the world. And you're a man with global fans, it seems. Fans in England, fans obviously back home, and maybe a Middle Eastern following after Saturday night. We will, man. Um, you know, uh, like it was like... Like I said in London, um, you know, we come to earn respect, not disrespect. And we're the same thing here in Riyadh. So I'm looking to build my fan base here, earn the respect, and um, just do what we do. All the best come Saturday night. And as always, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.